Hi there, this is a Steve Dog review, well it's a playthrough really, of The Escapist 2 on the PlayStation 4. So this game is something that is really new to me, I've only played one mission before and I'm playing it in this instance on a split screen mode. So this game offers you the ability to make, um, sorry, to play online, offline, split screen multiplayer. You can play online multiplayer. You can have up to four people playing offline and you can play competitively or you can play as a team. Now in this instance, what we've got here, we've played through this mission once. So I'm on the right hand side, so analysis on the left. Let me just zoom in a minute to show you what's going on. I'm going to zoom in on the right where I am. So the idea is we want to train. Now in the last mission we could dig our way out and make a tunnel, but on this mission we can't do this. Now, as you can see, we're hiding away from the guards. This game is not as tough as something like Hard Time on Ouya, which I'll hopefully show you a little link to at the top. Um, when the guards catch you, they beat you up. And look at this, we're running away from the guard. We're just going around in circles. Um, if he catches us, he'll beat us up. And all that will do is they'll put, it'll just hinder our time. So now, look, Ellis has gone to the left, I've gone to the right, God's still after me. And we're just hiding a couple. So there you go, we've gone in a couple. So the guard then eventually, as you can see down the bottom left hand side, it'll say we've got this, um, a little 96, 95. That's like a heat rating. And when that gets too high, all the guards are going to be after you. So the idea of this game is you've got to sneak around and find desks. And in each of the desks are things you can use to aid your escape. So then what you have to do is you craft together the things that you've created from the desk to make tools, which could be ropes, spades, if, you're, if you can dig out, obviously you can't on the train. We're trying to find crowbars. That's what we're interested in because we've identified that if we can find enough crowbars, we can detach the last carriage and make our escape on that. There's a timer in the top right hand corner um, so you've got uh, an amount of time to get through this and basically you can play these games over and over again you can help each other out so like I say you can have four of you in here on a split screen play these games over and over and beat your own time you can play versus so you're racing to get out before the other person um, so it you can kind of do this whichever way you want so a guard coming through there there's a window so we make sure we're not seen there Oh, I've snuck out there, we just snuck out there in time, look, the guard comes in, so now in we go, wait for that guard, look away, look away, so these guards do follow certain set um, walking routes as well, like, um, you know, they're in a routine where they're guarding, so you can learn that and then try and suss out the time to sneak through, so here we got up onto the roof, not sure why we went up there to be honest, but there's all sorts of things you can do, so we're going to quickly nip it on towards the end now. Well, I was going to, but instead I'm just going to show you how we sneak through. So we've got to get right up to the right-hand side of the carriage. There's a little tiny map at the top of the screen, which you can see there. So we've got to get right down towards the right-hand end. You can see, look, this is split-screen mode, so I'm on the right, Ellis is on the left. So he can see what I'm doing as well as... I'm able to see what he's doing but again I've just zoomed in a little bit on my side of it here so um, if you sort of see the same thing you can just about see the edge of his screen so there you go I'm in there I've got to get out of that room so this room was actually quite tricky we need the two of us to sort this out so I'm gonna need Ellis to come in here and help me out here um, What's the game like in terms of value? Now this is out on Switch at the moment and I think it's about 45 quid for Escapist 1 and I don't think it's worth 45 quid. I think you can get this on iOS. I think you can get this on Android. Um, you can get it on Play uh, Xbox I would think and we're playing it here on the PlayStation 4. I picked this up for £6.85. I think it's definitely worth £6.85. Um, it's good fun. It's not the best game in the world but for £6.85 we've had a bit of a laugh playing this it is a bit of fun as I said earlier it's not as scary as 
hard time on the Yuya in that if they beat you up they, they kill you you know in here at the start of the level it just said if we find you out of your cell if we see you we'll beat you up so that's all you got to do if they beat you up you lose all your bits you've collected so sometimes you might want to hide your stuff around and then you can go back later on and pick it all up so we just thought we'd heal up we just thought let's just see what will that desk hinder that person's route that might be something we can do so again you can try certain things will that guard carry on going through and actually he's not bothered in the slightest he'll just carry on you can beat the guards up but you've got to be pretty um, good at the fighting mechanic and if there's two of you you've got a good chance of doing that here we've got to get by quick before he turns around as it's gone through I'm sort of taking my time about this oh sod I'm gonna go right we're through um, I'm just trying to remember why we wanted to go out at this end, to be honest. I can't remember. I can't remember. But as you can see, time left at the top really high. That's because um, we've got a bit of a shimmy on here. These games can take a long time. I think what's going to happen is a bit like what we did now. You, you play it once, you learn what you need to do. There's a horse by the edge of the train down here. You can make a, f a fake carrot. So the horse gallops along by the train, so you might be able to get one of you out by finding, um, making a fake carrot to tempt the horse up to the edge of the train and you can escape. So it's not just there's one way of escaping, there can be multiple solutions here. And when you're in some of the, when we were in the, the first map, which is really big, and you know, I'm in trouble here, look. He's after Ellis, look. Ellis is now definite, definitely on the left hand window there, but there's a bit of a scrap going, so I come across to sort of lend a hand, but actually Ellis has dealt with him by then. So that's cool. We better get a little bit of a move on though. Um, he'll come and get collected with him, and you see the uh, medical staff go the other way to pick him up and take him through to the. Um, there he goes, so, um, He'll go and take him through to the um, medical centre. Now we've got these crowbars. I think we're nearly at the end of this mission, right? We just got to get through without a matey finding us. So, Ellis leads away. Cowardly Steve coming through second. There goes matey again. He's going to have a look in the old um, kitchen there. We've got past him. Come around the top. There's lots of sneaky sneaky in this game, which is good fun. So, and graphics do work well. It's sort of isometric view. It works with Peach. Right, so here comes a guard, we're just going to stay on each side and hope it doesn't spot us. There we go, lovely. Medical guys, they're not going to hurt us. Now at the back, this is might be the bit we've got to actually unhinge. We'll have to go further still. No, we'll have to go further still. Oh yeah, hiding the cupboard. That's where we were running around in circles earlier on, so quickly hiding the cupboard. Let's wait for the guard to go by. Of course, I'm commentating on this, not playing it live. When you're playing it live, it is a, it is a hoot. It, is, it can be, at times, really funny. You kind of lose control a little bit of what's going on. So now we're getting right towards the back of the train now. Um, and bear in mind, we're new to this game. Don't snuck through there, look. Okay, there's, that's our cells there, so we're safe in there. They won't come into your own cells. They'll beat you up if you're out of your cells. Pretty straightforward rules, but like I say, it's not that scary, this game. So if they beat you up, you just drop your things, you've got to start again. It kind of hinders you, but it, do, it, it doesn't kill you. You're not going to get an instant game over. So here we go. Now we've got to detach the caboose. Make sure we're on the left-hand side of the gap when we do it. Three crowbars required to do that. We've done two. And we've got to go across, select the crowbar on the little menu at the bottom to make use of that, to equip that. And we've got to make sure we need to be in the caboose to lead. So we've got to make sure on the left hand side. Get across, guys, get across. Now we can detach it. Of course, we can try this again to beat it, beat our own time. So there we go, we've escaped this one. We can retry this, there's several levels, several prisons of different difficulty and different approaches that you need to take. I would say 
if you can get this for a tenner or less, or maybe even 15 quid, it's probably worth getting. But if it's more than that, pass it by. But all in all, 7 out of 10, Steve Dog Review.